Cabal is rolling out a new hospital ICU in the Turks and Caicos. It's all part of a plan to improve not only emergency and critical care on the islands, but health care as a whole. Our One Caribbean News' Deandra Hamilton has more on the multi-million dollar development plan that's now in the works. Five months from now, the Turks and Caicos Islands government should have a proposal for an intensive care unit to be finally developed in country. The announcement was made by the Chief Executive Officer at InterHealth Canada TCI Hospitals, Dr. Denise Brathwaite-Tennant. Dr. Brathwaite-Tennant said the process is very complex and very expensive and will likely be north of $10 million. Our aim is to start with medical ICU so that we can reduce the number of persons that are going for surgeries that we do here. But because of their patient complexity, we've decided that it's not safe to do it in the absence of an ICU. And the other is the medical ICU, leaving as we grow and develop the more complex things like you know, neurosurgery, open heart surgery, and so forth. The TCI residents welcome the announcement as the lack of an ICU in country has hindered its healthcare system in more immediate responses to emergency and trauma cases. It has resulted in a hefty treatment abroad bill for the British Overseas Territory as well, where patients are medevaced to places like the Bahamas, Jamaica, Dominican Republic, Colombia, and the United States when care is not on island. Beyond trauma and severe illness, illness, treatment for ophthalmology and vascular health services have also soared in demand. These have now become a business case priority for the hospitals. But these are the ones that we're working with NHIP on. Ophthalmology. Ophthalmology is a key driver in terms of volumes and has surgical and consultation. So we're building the case to bring ophthalmology services on island and shift it from visiting which is already showing high volume capacity to a permanent ophthalmologist and the necessary equipment. Needless to say, providing these health care services at home would be more cost effective and instant. And that's good news all around.